Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning up our house. Um, I'm also going to be sharing a yummy fall recipe with y'all, which is lasagna soup. I'm not sure if I've cooked it for y'all before on here, but I'll be sharing that recipe. Um, also, while I was cleaning and filming today's video, um, my Amazon stools finally come in after they got lost. They were supposed to be here last week, but got lost. But finally, they come in today that I was filming this, so I was able to put them together. So that is what today's video is going to consist of. Also, if you've been wondering where I've been, we've been fighting a nasty, nasty cold. Um, one of the kids come home from school sick, and then next thing you know, it ran havoc all through our house. So I'm starting to finally feel better. I still got a little cough, but we're getting there. But yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and get this cleaning done. So this has been something I've been doing ever since we've been in our new house is anytime I fry any type of food I like to take out the burner covers and just give them a nice wash just get all the grease off I feel like it'll keep the fried smell out of my house y'all know if you've been here a while I do not like frying food in my house just because the smell it leaves afterwards even if I got the vent fan on there's still that fried smell in the house and I just can't stand it so like I said anytime I fry any food I'll take these um covers off of my burners and I'll just give them a wash I don't even know if they're called covers I don't even know what they're the right name for them is but i like to scrub them down give them a good wash and make sure i get all the grease off of them so i just got done cooking breakfast and that consisted of some bacon and eggs so i wanted to wash these i also like to um wipe down the um the vent fan over the stove you know grease pops up on that and gets in there as well So this island is just a catch-all for any and all things. Comment down below if your island is the same. So y'all probably noticed the cake decorating stuff right there on the island. So I decided now that we pretty much have settled into our new house, it's time for me to get back into baking and doing that side hustle again. Um, I briefly quit because all my stuff was packed up. So if you're new here, you didn't know, I do bake cakes on the side. It's something that I really do enjoy doing. But yeah, I have my first cake order this weekend. So that's exciting. It's a 75th birthday cake and it's Native American theme. It's going to have a dream catcher on it as well as a dozen of cupcakes. So once I get that order done, I will share a picture with y'all. So make sure to be checking out my community tab. I could sit around and wait all day You lay easy on my mind Like a candle I just burn away Oh, we really 
So I had been waiting on these bar stools for two weeks. Um, they ended up getting lost somehow, so we had to reorder them. So finally, they made it here, y'all. Oh, uh, and just just wait till you see them. They're so pretty. So in my last video, I was telling y'all how I want to redo this vanity. It's still going to happen. I'm just not sure 
what look I want to go with. So while I was filming this part, Mikhail ended up calling me. So I just made my bed up off camera. And I'm just going to give y'all an overview of how nice and tidy the house looks. Sing back. 
Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend, cause you find the way you are. I wanna know you better, give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. Stay forever We you lying in my arms My heart is open It just took some time Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while You fix what's broken When you make that smile So just stay for a little while So if you're wondering about these bar stools, I'll have them linked in the um, description down below. Of course, it won't be an affiliate link. I honestly couldn't get over how easy and simple they were to put together. The cushions on them are super, super thick and they fit perfectly in my kitchen and go with my decor. So of course, I went with cow print. So if I ever do get tired of the cow print look, which I doubt I will, I can always order some cushion covers to go with these. I happened to see some on Amazon that was turquoise, so that would match my house as well. So we went with four of these bar stools. And I think whenever we got them, it was like 220 for four of them, but the price has since gone down. So like I said, if you're interested in them, check the description box down below. Now it's time to cook and we're going to be doing lasagna soup. So I told y'all at the beginning of the video, me and the crew just got down and out with a very nasty cold. So I was wanting some comfort food this night and um, it's just some lasagna soup. Now I have the recipe down in the description box. So if you're interested in it, just check it out. So I'm just starting off by browning some hamburger meat. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control You push me then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher How your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering What it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign 
give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to. So, after I browned off my hamburger meat, instead of draining it, I just took a paper towel and put it in the pot to soak up all the grease, and that worked pretty well. I'd do anything to be in your arms again. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Talking to you. Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in. So give me I'm adding two boxes of beef broth. Italian seasoning, I did not measure, just eyeballing it over here. A heaping amount of minced garlic. Honestly, it was about two or three tablespoons full. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. And now I'm going in with some crushed and diced tomatoes. I did buy some tomato paste, but I didn't even use it. Give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you and here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here? I want to go all in. Madden in the onion that y'all just seen me chop up. Now I'm adding in my cottage cheese, which honestly, I'll pretty much use this whole container of cottage cheese. And once that's added in, I'm gonna give it a stir, put the lid back on it and let it come up to a bowl. And now that it's boiling very carefully, I'm just gonna break up my lasagna noodles and put them into the pot.
Now, I did bake some garlic bread to go with ours just so you can soak up some of that juice. Now, after you let it cook with the noodles for about 20 minutes, it is ready to be served. So just keep in mind when you make this soup, the longer you leave it out on the stove, the noodles are going to soak up all of that juice, so it's going to be less soupy. It's going to end up looking more like a deconstructed lasagna, if you will. So I'm gonna top ours with some shredded Parmesan cheese as well as some crispy fried onions just to add a little crunch to it. So if you're not a fan of fried onions but you still want the crunch factor, you can also add in some croutons. Better, but I'll die again if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am, that's why you have and there you go. It is such an easy fall recipe that I'm sure your family will enjoy. Just look at that cheese pool. Just look at that. Um, but yeah, if y'all try this recipe, let me know down below how you like it. So that's going to be it for this evening's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see y'all in the next one.